Hello everybody and welcome back to the final episode of Let's Play Ocarina of Time. This technically isn't Ganon's room. I could have just I I I was I wanted to be sure, but now we have the epic going up. Wow, this room changed greatly compared to freaking uh 3DS. Just like the textures on the wall. They're no longer window stained glass windows. I don't even know what the hell this stained glass is supposed to symbolize. Flowers? It doesn't seem like Ganon's style. Speaking of Ganon... <gasps> it's... It's a big ass room and oh, there's Zelda in her crystallized form. At least she's animated now, we can see her. Oh! <laughs> Somehow our lives or her health is refilled, but whatever. Probably could have bottled that fairy earlier. The Triforce parts are resonating. They're combining into one again. The two Triforce parts that I could not capture on that day seven years ago. I didn't expect they would be hidden within you two. <laughs> and now, finally, all the Triforce parts are gathered here. These toys are too much for you. I command you to return them to me. Roar! Link, I can't help you. Because of the waves of darkness, I can't get close. I'm sorry, Link. What the hell? Waves of darkness? That just means we can't see target Ganondorf here. The great king of evil. You have to get away. Uh, it would be a good idea. Okay. Now, does this look familiar to you? Oh, I forgot to draw my sword. Oh, 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 shut up. That does three hearts of damage. It's a pretty powerful attack. This battle is at least... It's actually easier, I find, than, uh... Yeah. It's easier, I find, than Phantom Ganon. Because if you remember when I fought Phantom Ganon, it's like half of his half of the balls of lightning didn't go back to him. These seem to automatically go back to him. And it's it's relatively easy to play uh, tennis with Ganon in this. And then again, like you know, maybe the first time you're like, "What the hell am I supposed to do?" when, like, he's all stunned. But, uh, all you have to do is shoot him with a light arrow, and that's that. I'm pretty sure there's magic pots at the bottom, or, like, places for you to get magic at the bottom. He has another attack, which it doesn't seem like he's going to do, because I'm pretty sure three, three runs of attack is going to be enough. There we go. See? It's actually a very easy final boss. <laughs> Kind of anticlimactic. Oh well. The great king of evil, Ganon, or great evil king Ganondorf, beaten by this kid. Wow, blood in a Nintendo game. Rated E for everyone. Link. Roar! That is pretty epic, I will admit. With his final power. Collapses the room, and it's now just rubble, as he, the great king of evil, falls. The end, we win. Woohoo! Now let's steal the Triforce and make our world evil so we can ro- oh. Hi, Zelda, I didn't say anything. It really would have been funnier if she had just collapsed. It would have made more sense, too, if the thing just, like, stopped in midair. Ganondorf, pitiful man. Without a strong, righteous mind, he could not control the power of the gods, and... 
What the? Uh-oh. The game's not over, folks. That's right. We got one more thing to do before we finish off. Link, listen to me. This tower will collapse soon. With his last breath, Ganondorf is trying to crush us in the ruins of the tower. We need to hurry and escape. Please follow me. Alright, now this part is kind of interesting. It's actually, I don't, I never really liked it that much. But, it's, it's good. I'm not going to be like, oh, this game would be so much better if it wasn't there, but... It's okay. It's a little slow, and there's always the factor of, oh god, we're going to make it out in time? Yes. Yes, you will. This part is very easy. I got out with, like, a minute and a half left in the other, the last time I did this. The only annoying thing is if you get hit, Zelda just stops, and, uh, she'll go, oh, as you get hit. And you have to be with her, like, at all times for her to continue. She has to be at these gates to open them. I really don't know what that's about, but... Oh, by the way, that particle effect with, like, the pinkness, that looks amazing in 3D. I'm, I'll just say that. These flying chunks of rock will hurt you if uh, you stand where they fall, obviously. I don't know what the hell they are. Like, they don't look like the pieces of the power that are crumbling down upon you. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a girl. Let's continue onwards. It's really an easy, simple part. Oh, why are you looking at me? I did an awesome jump. You should be like clapping, giving me a blowjob. I mean, what? I like how if you take damage in uh, cutscenes, nothing happens. Oh, and here's probably the one part that will like screw you over. I don't know why she just stops there, but it's a trap, and you gotta kill Stalfos. And in, in the 3D version, this is pathetic, because as I said, they attack all the time, and uh, it's very easy to kill them. Thank you, Link. Now let's hurry. And she farts out hearts at you, which are nice. Not like I'm going to need them really ever again, but... Especially since I have a fairy, but even if we were to get in another fight, which I highly doubt we are. Well, there is a redead up ahead, but... Seriously, if that redead pumps me out of, like, my 26 hearts of life, I would just cry. Plain and simple, I would cry. Ow. Yeah, see? It's like, oh, oh, no. She looks like she's crying. What the hell, woman? Come on, we've both seen some pretty crazy crap. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up, I don't got all day. I want to finish this video in record time. Come on. We also got to put up with, like, the... Oh my gosh. Free dad. And, oh, this is also another thing. She, just, she doesn't go, like, oh, at the fact that I'm being humped. But rocks that do a fourth of... Damn, a fourth of a heart of damage. She freaks out about it. If I just walk into these rocks or sitting here, she freaks out. But me being humped by a zombie, oh no, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, like I said, it's pretty easy. And now we finally did it. Tower crumbles and some effects that were actually very, very good for like 97. <laughs> or whenever the hell this came out. It might have been like 90. Well, it was probably 98. I was like 6 then. Speaking of which, my birthday's on Thursday. Woohoo! Well, that doesn't mean much to you guys. The 24th, I should say. Thanksgiving, actually. It's kind of weird this year. It happens every, like, five years when my birthday falls on Thanksgiving. I really like the way this tower just collapses. It doesn't, like, fall over. It just, like, 
falls into itself into what looks like a giant arena. It's like he designed the tower to fail that way. What tower does that? <laughs> and then it doesn't look anything like that. <laughs> it's over. It's finally over. <laughs> Alright, let's make out. <laughs> I did it, princess. Kiss me. I'm sorry I couldn't help you in the battle for- Oh, that's okay. Not what the- Uh-oh. That's not a good sound. I don't know, Zelda, but we better go check it out. You stay back. I don't want you getting- Oh, far. What? Oh. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. He is scary now, I just have to say. As a kid, I would make you pee your pants. And this... It's... It's... Ganon. Uh-oh. Oh no, we have no sword, except the two other swords we have. Technically, like, if you didn't if you didn't have the Vigoron sword, you'd be kind of boned, but there's no way he's going to hold me back again. This time we fight together. Yeah, Navi. Let's finish this mess. Alright, so like, if you didn't have the Vigoron sword, I think you'd have to use the hammer. But with the Vigoron sword, my god. This thing is cake. It's just it, this this fight, it's really epic and all. But, uh, it's, it's very, very, very easy. Oh, he has a weird-ass tail that's his hitbox. Which I don't know. Shut up, Zelda, you're not helping. Oh, you just let me hit it, then. Alright, but what you're supposed to do is... Ow, god, I'm doing it poorly here. I mean, it doesn't matter, I got a fairy. I'm not going to lose this fight. If I do, I'm crying. Because I got hit by him a number of damage. A number of zero times the last time I did this. Which is today, so... But I'm, I'm failing at the way you're actually supposed to go under him. I'm just letting him hit me and then I hit him. It's like a weird exchange we're doing here. Ow. You're supposed to go under his legs, and I know you can do it, but there we go. Hey, Taylor. Thank you, Navi. So what do you say about Ganon? I really have no idea what his weak point is. Well, look at the freaking thing I've been hitting him in, and like, you know, ow. You can hit him with light arrows, too, just like that. I really don't know how much damage that does, but I was tired of missing. There we go. Wow, way to block it, frickin' pile of rocks. Link, the Master Sword is here, hurry up! We have to have the Master Sword for this, so there's no worry about that. Okay. We got the Master Sword. Let's finish this mess. And yes, I am using the Master Sword, because I mean, hey, that's the Link's sword. Ow! Maybe I am a little bit worried. Ooh. Okay. Whoa! Thank you for magic. Uh-oh. Hi, Fairy. Just consider, like, if you didn't have the double hearts, this fight would be hell, I have to say. Like, it's, it's easy as pie in the 3DS version. Right now I'm sucking. I normally don't. If I... Basically, if I don't see targeting, it seems to be way easier, though. So. <laughs> there we go. Ow. 
And you can do that to stun him. I don't think it works like every single time, so don't like completely rely on that. Then again, I'm not 100% sure. I never really use it. I never try to use the light arrows in this fight. Instead, I'm basically just slashing away at him. Ducking under his crotch and slashing away. He just lets me. Come on, Ganon. Wow. <laughs> Let's dance, Ganon. Do the mambo. Oh, there he goes. Look at his nose. Twitching. Oh, hey. Hi, Zelda. I'm using my power to hold the evil king. Use You use your sword to deliver the final blow. Weakens her somewhat, so we gotta finish this. I don't know what happens if you don't. I don't know if he just stays here forever or not. But I'm not going to test it. Because I'm already down a fairy. <laughs> yeah. Ganon really has a thing for having swords in his face. Six ages now. With your powers combined, I am Captain Sage. I don't know. Ancient, cre ancient creators of Hyrule. I don't even know Robert's voice anymore. Now, open this sealed door and send the evil incarnation of darkness into the void of the evil realm. They turn into balls of light. Woohoo! Create Milky Way Galaxy, okay. No. They see on the way. You Curse you Zelda Curse you Sages Curse you Link It's funny if you name yourself Zelda, he curses Zelda twice. Someday, when the seal is broken, that is when I will exterminate your descendants. And this is how you know it's a prequel. A prequel. Technically, it is like the first game in the basically well thought out timeline, nonetheless. As long as the Triforce of Power is in my hand. And it will be, probably forever. Cause we love Ganon. And now we're in the sky. I don't know why. Hey, rhyming. Hey Zelda, I defeated Ganon. Kiss me. No? Okay. Thank you, Link. Thanks to you, Ganondorf has been sealed inside the evil realm. Thus, peace will once again reign in this world for a time. All the tragedy that has befallen Hyrule was my doing. I was so young, I could not comprehend the consequences of trying to control the Sacred Realm. I dragged you into it too. Now it is time for me to make up for my mistakes. You must lay the Master Sword to rest and close the door of time. However, by doing this, the road between times will be closed. So she's sending us back in time so we can relive the past that we didn't have. Link, give the ocarina to me. As a sage, I can return you to your original time with it. It's commonly thought that here is when the paths diverged. By Zelda sending you back, she creates an alternate timeline where it's this timeline continuing to go on, and then another timeline where Link was a kid again and became an adult and everything was fine and happy and hunky-dory. When peace returns to Hyrule, it will be time for us to say goodbye. Now, go home, Link. Regain your lost time. Home, where you're supposed to be. 
the way you're supposed to be. And technically, if that's true, there's no Ocarina of Time in the uh, other timeline now. <laughs> now, I just, I just realized that. The Ocarina of Time would exist because, uh, like, Link would have taken it from the other timeline and brought it to this one. Would that mean there are two in this one? I don't even know. Time travel makes my head explode. Thank you, Link. Goodbye. And we're brought back as a kid. Ah, I love this music. That was Legend of Zelda. Ocarina of Time. Cape Gabora! You creepy pedo owl. Oh my gosh, I love this game so much that I beat it twice in the same day. I mean, technically, you know, I've been working on this since February, but Jesus! <laughs> That's how much I love it. I just love it to death. It's a game I can continuously play over and over again and never get bored of it. I'll probably beat Master Quest within the next three weeks. I mean, the only reason I don't beat it in a day is because I have school, and I'm also addicted to other things. Hello, Team Fortress 2. Ah. Where is everybody? We see every place, but there's no one here. Interesting. This is the future, I believe, they're showing us. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Ah. I see now. But yes, it is theorized... Uh, if you don't know the theories of the timeline, uh, I don't really fully understand it anymore. I used to, but I've since forgotten the exact, like, ideas and theories about the split timeline. I remember that it made sense, and I kind of followed it, but I wasn't 100% sure. Uh, the only thing I'm 100% sure is that, um, this timeline, like, uh, the... There's an adult timeline where Link was an adult, and then he was sent back to his original timeline. So that timeline continues on, and I'm pretty sure that's the one that becomes Wind Waker? Or that might be the one, I don't know. Uh, the one of these is like, I think it might be this one, where there's the hero, like, the, the, she sends back the hero of time, and then Ganon will come back and uh, be all evil and all that. And they'll be like, Hero of Time, save us! And he won't come because he was sent back by Zelda. All this crazy crap. And then that turns into w Wind Waker. And that's not a spoiler because it's given you in the first minute of the freaking game. So, just silencing that idea right there. Someone sent me a text. I'm the most professional lp -er ever looking at my phone. I got a text from Amy. What's this? It's a ring of fire. I fell into the burning ring of fire. Hey, hey, that's where everyone is. And there are the Zoras. They came back. They're all fine. Ingo and Malon are drunk. At least that's what it looks like. Everyone's dancing and celebrating that Ganon is all gone. Honestly, I would too. There's, like, the same people, like, repeated there. <laughs> I love that in the left. Oh, God. And there's... I, I didn't actually show off the Magic Cart Salesman. He, he rips you off, but I don't remember how he does it. He's, uh, in the desert somewhere. There's Malon. There's those guys. I love that. <laughs> My friend actually had a really interesting theory about, um about how, like, when Link comes, goes back into the past, and that goes off into the, um... That will go off into the Twilight Princess timeline. My friend had a theory about, like, why Ordon Ranch exists and all that. He thinks that Link married Malon, and, uh, they went and formed the ranch, and that becomes, like, the technically, like, the Lon Lon Ranch of that time. Because Lon Lon Ranch doesn't exist in Twilight Princess. 
that is Lon Lon Ranch, and it's moved, like, down next to and beyond the forest. And I think that's a pretty interesting theory. It's one I had never heard before. I'm really into Zelda theories for some reason. I just find them really interesting. Huh. Super Mario Club. <laughs> and there are the sages. I love the sages. Where's Raru, though? Raru isn't even part of this right here. I love the sages because it's like the most racially diverse group ever. It's like normally you see the groups where it's like the wheelchair white guy and the black guy and the Asian girl and the, all that stuff. But like this is as racially diverse as you can get. There's a Sheikah. There's a Kakiri. There's a Goron. There's a Gerudo. There's a Zora. Th I'm guessing Raruto. Or Raru, I should say. Uh, I'm guessing Raru is a Hylian. I don't know. He wasn't even there. What happened to Raru? Never really know much about Rara. Nonetheless, we're brought back as a kid. All is well in the world. And Nabi? Her quest finally done. Given to her by the Deku Tree, she leaves. Strong. 25 years. Skyward Sword just came out the other day. I don't have it yet. I need to. <sighs> 25 years of Zelda. It's crazy. There's Zelda looking over at Ganondorf. It's like, ah, uh, that evil person. If only I could tell them what I think. But then Link shows up. And still image. It's it's I uh, I'm pretty sure it's like shown like not shown. It's uh suggested that Link tells Zelda here what happened and warns her of what will happen if they don't stop Ganon now and if they do open up the door of time. I'm not 100 percent sure, but uh I'm pretty sure this is why it splits off and like the Ganon is, doesn't become super duper powerful. Well, I don't even know. Theories confuse me! Theories confuse me! <laughs> Whatever. I don't remember exactly what people came up with, but that's it. The end of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Pretty sure it stays on the screen forever now. My thoughts on the game, it's good. If you haven't played it, I'm going to drive over to your house and slap you across the face with my dick. Play this game now. It's great. I love it so much. I love it to death. Best Zelda game. The only one that I love nearly as much would have to be Link's Awakening. I'm probably the only one who thinks that. But, you know, that's because I own five copies of Link's Awakening. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> oh god, I didn't even know it did that. Oh, Jesus. Okay. That's it. Wait. Did it just play the Song of Healing? What the hell? Ugh, that's scary! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I've met a terrible fate, haven't I? Thank you all for watching. Putting up with this for practically a year. I'll see you all next time. We're not going to go be going into Majora's Mask for a while, speaking of the song feeling. I'm going to be moving on to some other things, probably more obscure. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.